This is a video for people that are thinking about getting the insurgent. And if you're one of those people, this is a good video to watch. Hey, yo guys, and welcome to GTA 5 Online with the insurgent. I finally got it. I just failed so badly. <laughs> no, but today I'm gonna show uh, like things about tips and tricks with the insurgent so hope you it enjoy. can be bought only in the war stock for so there's the pickup version the cost for trade price it costs one million three hundred and fifty thousand or if you want to buy it one million seven hundred ninety five thousand five hundred or you could just buy the original the uh, the insurgent by itself trade price six hundred and seventy five thousand or eight hundred and ninety seven thousand seven hundred and fifty right it's a war stock so most of the time call pegasus and call and get your car but the insurgent is a personal vehicle it can be customized it can be stored in your garage and everything like that so yeah that's a thing about the insurgent just because i am talking about the personal vehicle that can be stored in your garage and i said about customizing your car what y i'm just gonna say what you can customize you can customize the brakes to get like race brakes or whatever engine explosive uh, horns, lights, blah blah blah. Play three spray cell. If if you want to sell it for some reason, you can. But in my opinion, you shouldn't because it's a really good car and you spent eight hundred thousand, but you will get back six hundred thousand. You can use a suspension, transition, transmission, turbo wheels, windows. With the wheels, you can change the types, the color, and the tires. Tire design. I put on custom and I didn't buy this it was already with the car because this is an armored vehicle and there is one thing that is mission, uh, missing and that is the armor yeah it's already armor 100% so there's no armor in the Los Santos customs so that's one thing about the customization in this car it is really good at ramming into cars but sometimes they act like ramp cars. Yeah. And the only reason why this is really good is because of how heavy it actually is. I will show you how heavy it is. The cargo bob. This is how heavy it is. The cargo bob cannot lift up the insurgent. That is how heavy the insurgent is. Yeah. And because I was talking about the ramming, I will show you something really funny and cool about the insurgent. This is what you can do with this insurgent. Explode a plane with one hit. Yeah, so if your friend, like if you want to be that bad, like me, not really, well kinda once I done it already but still if your friend is about to take off what you can do is this you're like wait for me they wait for you and then you just ram into their plane and it just explodes so that's how you control your friends it works with cars sometimes like maybe 25 percent and it works with helicopters as good but you got for helicopters, you gotta hit like the front. So yeah, next thing about the insurgent. First I gotta lose the police, or I could just go do something easy and call Lester. So I'm gonna do that. Next gen. Hey, what's up? Uh, how can I help? Oh no, not off, uh, off the radar. Oh, hey. Ooh. okay, next thing. The speed, yeah. For an armored vehicle, it actually is pretty fast. Yeah. 
it goes 94 miles per hour. Yeah, for armored vehicle that can't get picked up by a cargo bob, it goes 94 miles per hour. In real life, that's so like that's really slow. But in this game, it is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing. Just don't even dare to try to do ra uh, stunts with this. Look how stupid it looks. Not even holding the controller. I wasn't even moving the joystick or anything. Like, that is how weird it is to do stunts with the insurgent. I think it's because of the weight. I don't actually know, but I think it is about the weight. Okay, I will give you a couple of tips on using the insurgent. First thing is, don't use this in races. Like, you are going to lose instantly. Because reason is too slow. But it actually is alright off-road. I'll show you a clip right now. So yeah, ow! I hit a tree. No, but... This is how good the insurgent is off road. Like, <laughs> it's amazing. It, like, it actually is amazing. And it's not hard to control. It doesn't like spin out or anything. It's just really good off road. That's why this car is in the off road section. So, yeah. More tips. So, I already said about racing. Use this in heists and yeah, like get away, like doing gang attacks, heist, or if you want, just have fun, uh, have fun with your friends. So like getting five stars or anything like that. That's the thing with this. That's the thing that you should do with the uh insurgent not like racing or anything like that unless you want to hit your friend off the edge in racing but i don't think that's a good idea because sometimes th that happens what i just done or if you want you can go into the military base because it's going to be harder for tanks to destroy you and but it's kind of going to be easier for soldiers to kill you because they're just always because i'm guns. still here i so want to yeah. show you something really cool that that's i the found only an image bad part on that's Google. the only down part Look at about this. this it's a real life insurgent you can finally drive on the opposite side of the road nothing will stop you Maybe like slow you down, but who cares? At least you can still just drive over everyone and just flip them and everything like that. So yeah. I might have forgotten something about the insurgent. If yes, sorry. So that was a video about the insurgent. Really? You had to crash into me? No. So this is the end of the video. Leave a like, subscribe, and press the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. Hope you enjoy and have a good day. Boom! And... Fireworks! Goodbye!